Hello. It's good to see you. Today we have so many yummy goodies from Aldi. I know I, I said in my Target video the other day that, you know, once it gets to be September, it's like pumpkin spice just blows up everywhere in there. Well, honestly, the same thing seems to have happened at Aldi, and even more so. I tried to kind of dress to suit the occasion. I found, I have this top, and it has a lot of orange in it, um, and a lot of brown and gold. So I thought it would kind of go with all this pumpkin spice stuff. Now, not everything is pumpkin spice. Some of this stuff is uh, like caramel, fried apples. It's all stuff that they have just put out recently to kind of go with, um, I guess, like a coming theme of fall. But we do definitely have some pumpkin spice stuff in here. And I decided to do just a whole video dedicated to pumpkin spice type stuff at Aldi. And all of this came from Aldi in one shopping trip. So all of this, at least at my Aldi, is available right now. And of course, like always, whenever we do these videos, I always like to start with the crinkly items first. I try to do those at the very beginning so you don't have a bunch of crinkles later on. And the first one I have actually looks really yummy. I don't know that I've ever tried these. Now this is a lovely packet of cookies here from Benton's, which is an Aldi brand. These are caramel apple creams. They're little sandwich cookies, which you can see here. And I'm guessing that you're going to have this vanilla flavored cookie. And then the, the filling, the white filling here is going to be caramel apple flavor. Oh my gosh, I love caramel apples. And I know everybody says this word differently. Um, where I come from, it's pronounced caramel. I know you can say it however you want to. Caramel apple creams. They are artificially flavored. This is a 15.25 ounce package of cookies. These were only $1.55. Now with some Benton's cookies like this, they have a resealable top. They will have a little area here with a little tab and you can just pull it back but it will have adhesive on it so you can just kind of lay it back down and seal it back over. Unfortunately, these don't seem to have that. But I mean, whenever I get some like this, I will usually just put them in a little, little container, you know, just a resealable container of some sort or a Ziploc bag or whatever. That way they stay fresh. They're not gonna get all soft and kind of stale. So this is our first item here, caramel apple creams. And these are not available all the time. This is just one of those uh, seasonal things. And a lot of this I found on the seasonal food aisle. Some of it, uh, well actually quite a bit of it, came from the areas up near the registers. Like they'll have these little end caps right at the registers, the end cap. And they have these little shelves there. And they, they change it out all the time. And right now they have tons of pumpkin spice stuff on those end caps. That's where a lot of this came from. Um, let's see. That's where this came from. This little item here. Now these are a limited edition item from Werther's Original. Now of course Werther's Original was not an Aldi brand. But you can get it there. So these are pumpkin spice soft caramels. Look, these are not the hard ones. You know, of course, when you have the regular Werther's original caramels, um, and they're kind of an oval shape and it's like a hard candy. They're really good. Um, but these are a soft caramel. So they're, they have this little shape. They're kind of shaped like a Tootsie Roll. And they come in these individual little wrappers like this. They are harvest caramels, pumpkin spice, soft caramels and you get this little 8.57 ounce bag of soft and creamy caramels with a touch of pumpkin spice i've never seen this kind before i don't know it could be that they've had it other years and i just didn't see it but i do love werther's originals they're so good i love the fact that they have so many different varieties you know they have so many different types that you can try they even have sugar-free caramels I've seen. These are not, but yeah, look at the package. It's so pretty. It has these little leaves on it. 
It says that three pieces of these caramels have 140 calories. Wow. But it's pretty there. It kind of looks like a bag of ground coffee. But it's caramels. And it's limited edition. And again, I found these up near the registers. So you're not going to be able to get them all the time. Up here is where they are sealed. They do not have a resealable bag, but really, I don't think these would really go bad. I mean, they're already individually wrapped, and they're, they're probably fine if you don't... They're probably fine if you don't put them in another container. It says that it's the Old World Recipe. That's for the caramel, I guess, and then the pumpkin spice is added afterwards. So we do have Werther's Original Pumpkin Spice Soft Caramels. And the next item we have, ooh, this is specially selected. This is an Aldi brand. Now, with the specially selected stuff, that's usually stuff that's a little extra nice. It's a little bit nicer than their everyday stuff. This specially selected item here is pumpkin cheesecake drizzled caramel corn. Ooh, and you can see here what it looks like. So you're going to have these clusters and individual pieces of caramel corn with this white drizzle on it. And that is pumpkin cheesecake flavored drizzle. Oh my goodness, that looks yummy. It sounds really good, honestly. I love cheesecake of pretty much any flavor. So I really look forward to trying this caramel corn. We have a little description down here. Caramel corn glazed with classic pumpkin pie spices and topped with a creamy cheesecake drizzle. Wow, nice. So we have our little stick of cinnamon down here and our spices. This is an eight ounce bag of this pumpkin cheesecake drizzled caramel corn. And this bag is resealable. I can see right up here. Now you're gonna have these notches here and here and you're just going to rip the top off right across here and then this part is resealable it's like a little ziploc bag so you just go ahead and take out what you want and then you just seal it back up which is great because that way you don't have to find another container to put your caramel corn in to keep it fresh so I imagine this is very yummy. That's one thing I love to look for at Aldi are these special uh, types of caramel corn. They come out with different ones, um, especially around fall and Christmas. They come out with these different flavors of caramel corn. I don't, again, I don't think I've tried this one. It's like the Werther's original. I don't believe I've tried it. I don't think I've seen it. So I'm looking forward to trying that. Here's another crinkle. Now I found this right next to the caramel corn. This is from Clancy's, which is an Aldi brand that we see on stuff periodically in these videos. This is another item that they don't have all the time. I guess you would say it's kind of limited edition. Cinnamon and brown sugar sweet potato chips. Now I love um, sweet potato chips. I love sweet potato anything. We need to make sweet potato pie sometime. Now, I also thought about showing you how to make the candied sweet potatoes that my mother used to make. Oh my gosh, they're so good. It's so good and it's so easy. We should do that, definitely. But today, we have these sweet potato chips that are flavored with cinnamon and brown sugar, which is kind of like our candied sweet potatoes, but in the form of a chip. So it's portable. <laughs> now this bag, this is not a, a giant bag of chips. Um, it is six ounces though, and it does feel like there's quite a bit in here. And of course too, you have to remember they're very lightweight, so they're not going to feel like much. I mean, you can still have a lot, but it doesn't feel like much. And you can see the little spoonful of brown sugar here and the cinnamon stick back here. I love the little pictures and things that they do on their packaging. It's just so cool. I love the photography. It's very nice and you have that dark background back there. It's just perfect. It just really accentuates the chips. It's almost like art. You could do a painting of that. It's, it's very pretty. I think it has lovely texture to it. 
and then they show you some more chips. The picture just kind of wraps around right there. I think out of all the items that I found, I think this is probably the one that I look forward to trying the most. To me, this just, this looks super yummy, <laughs> but not everything I bought is edible. So I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be eating this stuff. Um, but this is definitely edible and I'm really looking forward to these. <laughs> okay. Another crinkle. I found these also with the caramel corn and the uh, sweet potato chips. Another item from Clancy's right here. You can see the pretty little Clancy's logo with the red uh, oval on it. Caramel apple covered pretzels. <gasps> now these look really good. I, I love um, I love chocolate covered pretzels, especially the ones that have that white chocolate on them. They're so good. Oh my gosh. Or the regular like milk chocolate and then it has the little toffee chips on it. Oh my goodness. So I'm really looking forward to trying these caramel apple covered pretzels. So I'm thinking this must be like that yogurt stuff, you know, that they coat them with. But it's caramel apple flavored and it's this really pretty light brown. And right next to your pretzels you have a caramel apple, which I love caramel apples. They're just they're so messy to eat. I like them, but they're very messy. Yeah, so we have a couple more little pretzels back here. Now this bag is seven ounces of pretzels, and I'm thinking that's perfect. I don't really know that this is the kind of thing that I would want a whole bunch of. It's one of those things, you know, you want a some, but then I, I think I think you could get tired of them, you know. <laughs> so let's see. Does this have a resealable top? It actually doesn't. This bag does not have a resealable top. So after I open these, I will definitely put them in a container of some sort. I don't know that you really want to leave these out. Leave them un unsealed, uncovered. They're sealed up here at the top, but I don't feel a, um, a resealable thing on it. So, But that's okay. I'll just put them in a container. Caramel apple covered pretzels. Alrighty, we have some more. Now this next item is not related to the uh, pumpkin spice theme, but they had just brought it out and I've never seen it in Aldi before, so I had to get some. I wanted to show you this. They have, and this is, a, this is well, it's new at my Aldi. I've never seen it. They didn't even have a spot for it yet. They just brought out a case of this stuff from the back. Uh, Inno Foods uh, Organic Non-GMO Gluten-Free Keto Crackers. And I've noticed they've added a lot of keto stuff in the last year. You know, they have, of course, the keto bread, which is really good. They have keto uh, sliced bread. You can also get keto hamburger buns. Um, you know, they have a bunch of different things. But these crackers look really yummy. Look at that. Now, this was $4.99. But if you have bought any keto snacks like this, you know they're they're expensive because they're made with um, more expensive ingredients. These crackers are made with pumpkin seeds, so it still has pumpkin in it, sort of. <laughs> pumpkin seeds, almonds, and hemp seeds. Um, it has almonds, yeah, almonds, coconut, and pumpkin seeds, and also sunflower and hemp seeds. It has they have four grams of net carbs. Uh, yeah, four grams total of the net. You know, you have to do the math, but it's four grams of net carbs. And they are gluten-free. So they looked kind of yummy. I thought I would try these. This bag is resealable. Again, you're going to have the little notch here and here. And you can tear off this top part. And then it opens up down here. And there's a little resealable top which I, I, it's probably a good idea to keep these sealed up. I imagine they would get stale, but I don't, I don't know. But you can reseal the bag once you get out what you want. Now that is from Inno Foods. Um, that does not appear to be an Aldi brand. I'm not familiar with it, but it's from Inno Foods. So, keto crackers. It's pretty neat that they've expanded their keto offerings so much. 
I love, um, I like the cocoa dusted almonds. They have that sweet kind of cocoa powder on the outside. I love those, so I'm really looking forward to trying these almonds. Now these again are a limited offering. These are not something they have all the time. From Southern Grove, which is an Aldi brand that we've seen before, um, mainly with the mixed nuts I used to buy. They had this really good nut mix with cashews and almonds and I think they had some peanuts, but not a lot. Those were, yeah, it's a nice mix. This, so this is also from Southern Grove. These are almonds, and you can see them here in the clear window. They're pumpkin spiced almonds. Mm. It's a 14 ounce bag of almonds, and this bag is also resealable at the top. They give you a generous window to look at all the almonds in there. They do look really good. Now this is not like a chocolate covered almond. It's like this dust. It's like a dusty covering over the almond. And uh, I don't know if they're toasted or raw. Let's see what oh, it doesn't say. I don't know. But they're pumpkin spice almonds. And of course it's, it has the twice as nice guarantee on the bag because this is an Aldi product. Southern Grove is an Aldi brand. If you don't like it, they will give you your money back and replace it with a comparable item, which is pretty great. So yeah, these I bet these are really good. These will be good with a nice warm drink or something like some hot tea or something. Yeah, so we have this resealable top. And I love this pretty al uh, orange up here, and it says almonds. It's kind of hard to see, but in, a, in like a pale orange all across the top and it goes this way and that way it says almonds but pumpkin spice almonds that's pretty cool and we have uh, I believe two more crinkly no three more crinkly things now this is not something um, that's really pumpkin spice but it's a special coffee from Burissimo which is an Aldi brand this is maple and bacon coffee. So it probably smells like breakfast time. That's really something. It is artificially flavored. This is ground coffee, so it's not whole coffee beans. It is ground coffee. You get 12 ounces in this package. So you can see, I love the picture on this package. You have this little illustration of pancakes with melting butter. Although I think they got a little bit too much butter on there. That's a lot. Maybe this is syrup. Maybe that. Maybe that's what that is. Syrup and then two pats of butter on top of the syrup. And two strips of bacon. So this is Barissimo, which is also an Aldi brand. And they have the little twice as nice guarantee. Although usually it's blue, but I notice on these fall themed uh, items they're brown. That's very interesting. Discover your true passion for everything coffee. We live and breathe the whole experience, sourcing, roasting, and blending the finest beans, offering you the chance to explore and experience our aromatic blends. And this is one again that is, um, it's only available certain times of the year. Um, honestly though, I think they had it back in the springtime. They had it one other time this year. And on the side over here, you can read about it. This unique light roast blends all your favorite breakfast flavors into one indulgent cup of coffee. Infused with the irresistible smokiness of bacon, the flavor is rounded out by a deliciously sweet finish of maple and caramelized sugar. Very nice. Maple bacon coffee from Barissimo, which is an Aldi brand. We have another coffee too. We have this one. This now these were together uh, at the end of the little the little section there by the registers. This is also from Barissimo, and it is also 12 ounces ground coffee beans. This is apple crisp flavored coffee. Oh, very nice. Yeah, you know, yeah. So. You can actually, like most bags of coffee like this, you can actually smell it. There's a tiny hole and you can just kind of press the bag and 
See what it smells like? It smells really good. It's it just smells like apples, like kind of like um, fried apples. Have you ever smelled fried apples? Kind of smells like that. It's a very nice uh, smell. It's perfect for fall. Well, let's read a little bit about it. This festive light roast delights the senses with juicy apple notes, luxurious sweet brown caramel, and indulgent sugar crumb topping. Finished with notes of creamy butter and warm cinnamon, this blend is as mouth-watering as a slice of freshly baked pie. <laughs> wow. So it's probably just going to smell like a fresh apple pie coming out of the oven. Oh, it's perfect. I love the picture too. I love this pretty light green on the bag. Isn't that pretty? It kind of has a metallic sheen to it. And then the pretty apples in the background. It's like a little apple tree. It's an illustration. And on the side, we can see a basket of pretty red apples. Very nice. So that's also from Barissimo. And it's another limited edition. It's not one they have all the time. Okay. We have these. Oh, look at these. They're a little crinkly. Not, not really. You have to handle it roughly to make it crinkle. These are from Vortman. And I mentioned the Vortman uh, wafers in at least one other video, but it wasn't an Aldi video. I don't remember what it was now. Um, but these are Vortman pumpkin spice wafers. They're baked with real pumpkin. They have no artificial colors or flavors and no high fructose corn syrup. This is a pretty good size package of uh, wafers. 10.6 ounces. You'll get your spices and your pumpkin flavor. And the filling is this really pretty color. It's kind of like pumpkin, uh, pumpkin pie filling. It's kind of that burnt orange. It's almost like this, but a little bit lighter than this color right here. Yeah, they look really yummy. I've never tried pumpkin spice uh, sugar wafers before. Um, usually I just get the plain sugar wafers or strawberry. Um, but I'm very interested to see what pumpkin spice Vortman wafers taste like. And I think if anybody could do it and do it right, it would be them. Because I just, I think their wafers and cookies and things are just a bit better than most. It just seems like they're just extra yummy. <laughs> so I'm really looking forward to trying these pumpkin spice wafers from Vortman Bakery. <laughs> okay. This is the last thing that I think has the potential to crinkle. And really it's only going to crinkle if you touch down in there. Now, this item is from Specially Selected. Again, that is another fancy uh, Aldi brand. It's going to be eh, just a little bit better than normal. Something a little extra special for your day. These are Specially Selected Maple Cinnamon Artisan Crisps. So they're little, they're little crackers in there and they're very dark. They look like rye crisps to me, like rye crackers, little crispy crackers. But these crisps are, let's see, these crisps are double baked artisan crisps made with walnuts. It looks like cats. It's made with cats. No, it's oats. The O looks like a C. It's made, I hope there are no cats in there. It does, literally, it looks like cats. Walnuts, oats, maple syrup, and cinnamon. Wow. I can see some little white flecks in it. I guess that's probably the walnuts. Here you can actually see a picture of the crisps and what they're going to look like when you take them out and set them down. They have a very nice texture to them. All kinds of goodies in there. I'm trying to think of what would be good with that. There are some jellies that would be good with that, I would think, and certain types of cheese would be good with that. Very pretty. They look they look really yummy, and they look like they would be kind of filling as well. This was with the seasonal food that uh, at my Aldi they have the seasonal food aisle, where they have stuff that's you know 
here today, gone tomorrow kind of thing. And they, uh, that's where they had this. They will start getting uh, German stuff in, I'm sure, for October. They always, in October, will do a whole big section of just all this special German stuff that they don't have the rest of the year. And that's always a lot of fun. I like to try all the different things they get. So, but yeah, these are little maple cinnamon artisan crisps, and that is from Specially Selected. And you can see inside here, of course, like I was showing you, the box itself is cut away right here. So you can see the sleeve of crisps. It's encased in cellophane, and that is 5.3 ounces of artisan cinnamon maple crisps. From specially selected. Alright, and the rest of these things, I'm going to show you some non-edible things. Well, anything's edible if you're adventurous enough. I don't think I'm going to eat these today though. These are some lovely little scented wax melts from Huntington Home which is an Aldi brand right here. And they, I love the fact that they have different scents all throughout the year. Just depending on what season is coming up, they will have all different types. I'm still working on some from summer. I don't know if I'm gonna get through them all or not. <laughs> I bought some back in the summertime. I'm still using those. But they, they had several different scents. This is the only one I got today. They are scented, hashtag pumpkin everything. And they just, they smell like, they smell like pumpkin pie. I mean, when I open it up, and it smells like pumpkin pie. And I love the way pumpkin pie smells. Personally, I prefer sweet potato pie over pumpkin, but I'll take either one. You get six of these little wax melts, and these were only $1.69 for 2.5 ounces of these lovely little hashtag pumpkin everything wax melts. And Huntington Home is another Aldi brand, and they have so many different scents of these wax melts, and you can get different ones during th throughout the year. It's just fun. I can't wait to see what they do for Christmas this year. They always have something new to surprise you with. And Huntington Home also has some fall candles, of course. I didn't get all of them. I think they had four different scents of fall candles in the three wick candles. I only got two. Um, these were the two that I liked the best. The first one I got, and it has this metal lid on it, the first one I got was Smoked Pumpkin Cider. Isn't it beautiful? Look at the color of that, that pretty candle. The, pop come, the top comes off and you can see the three wicks in there. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Strong cinnamon smell in there. Very strong. Oh, it's so nice. Oh my goodness. It is a soy blended scented candle. I think these were only, they were either $3.99 or $4.99. They weren't much. I just looked at my receipt. They were $3.99 for the three wig scented candles. They range in price. You know, they have different types of candles throughout the year. Some of them, I think the 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 least expensive are going to be like these $3.99 ones. They have some that are even fancier that can be $4.99, $5.99, $6.99, $8.99. You know, they, they go up and down the price range. But this smells so pretty. Look at it. It smells pretty. It just does. I like the, uh, the plaid on the sticker here too. This, I think this was my favorite. It was great. And then this one is nice too. Now this is another one that was also $3.99. This is another three wick candle. This is glass. And then it has the metal top on it. The inside of this metal top has a rubber seal inside of it to help seal in the loveliness of your candle. The scent of this one is pumpkin ginger snap. And it, this one has, the scent is not quite as intense as the other one but it's still really nice it's different though it almost to me it it has a pumpkin smell definitely 
but it also has sort of a citrusy smell to it. It's like pumpkin and citrus almost. It's very interesting. I guess that's the ginger. I'm not really sure, but it almost comes across as sort of a citrusy smell. I really like it. It's very nice. It's, it's a little bit of a lighter scent than the other one. I like them both. I think they're great. So this is also a soy blended scented candle from Huntington Home. Okay, the rest of this is edible or potable. Let's see. The first thing here from this group, this was also up near the registers. This is from Specially Selected. Um, this is an organic pumpkin spice maple syrup. Look at, it's dark. It's quite dark. But it's really pretty. This is eight ounces of organic pumpkin spice flavored maple syrup. Is this real maple syrup? It is. It is real maple syrup. It is organic Vermont maple syrup. And it has organic cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, organic spices. Nice. So, of course, they have their um, maple syrup in a glass jar like this all the time, but this one is pumpkin spice flavored. So, I thought that would be something nice to try. And up near the registers, they had some little individual containers of oatmeal. Now, they're not pumpkin spice fla flavor, but they're, they're kind of nice fall flavors. This little container here is a single serving. It's 2.68 ounces, as is. There are some nice pieces of stuff in there. This also is from Specially Selected. This is a cranberry walnut apple oatmeal. And it is gluten-free, if you're looking for that. It says, use for overnight oats. That's what it says on there, use for overnight oats. So how do you make it? Okay, for overnight oats, you're gonna add pasteurized milk or milk substitute to the fill line on the cup, stir it up, cover it back up and refrigerate it overnight, and then stir and enjoy in the morning. Or you can microwave it. You add water to the fill line and stir it. Do not cover. Microwave it on high for 45 seconds, stir it. Let it stand for two minutes and adjust the water for desired thickness. So you could do this as an overnight thing too. Just add your milk or whatever the night before. Stir it up and enjoy it the next day. So that is a cranberry walnut apple oatmeal. And of course, it's just like a, a little single serving of oatmeal. And then there's this one. I love the blue. Look at the pretty blue on this lid. It's almost like a Smurf blue. Now this one is also from Specially Selected and can also be used for overnight oats like the other. This is Blueberry Chia Muffin Oatmeal. It doesn't feel like it has the big pieces in it like the other one. It probably has little dehydrated blueberries in there and chia seeds and stuff. So yeah, that's Blueberry Chia Muffin Oatmeal. And they had both of these um, up at the register. These were the only two flavors I saw, but they were right up by the registers. And that is not oatmeal that they typically have. That's, I don't think I've ever seen this there before. But it's just a little single serving of oatmeal. And then up by the registers again, I found these little wafer rolls and they have these all the time, like the regular ones. They have the cream filled um, I think they're vanilla or chocolate and they're over on the aisle with the cookies and crackers and stuff. These are from Benton's and they are cream filled wafer rolls, but they're salted caramel flavor. Oh, I've never tried salted caramel flavor wafer rolls before. That's got to be good. Oh my gosh. I, I don't buy wafer rolls often because that's one of my weaknesses, is if I have a container of these in the house, I will eat all of them. I will eat them until they go away. I will not be able to leave them alone. 
I'll just keep eating them. <laughs> I love these things. Oh my gosh. This is a smaller can. Now the can they normally have is larger. This one is only five ounces. It has a little metal lid on it. And Benton's, of course, is an Aldi brand. And it has the twice as nice guarantee, just like all of the other Aldi products. So we can see our little picture of the salted caramel here. The little caramel cubes with large grains of sea salt on them. Probably sea salt. And the pretty little metallic leaves falling. Oh, it won't be long now. The leaves are going to start changing and it's going to be cooler. I'm looking forward to it. I like fall. My allergies don't like fall, but I do. <laughs> yeah, it's ragweed season here and it's been it's been plaguing me for about a week now. But yeah, so this is salted caramel and again these were up near the registers. I didn't see any other flavors, just that one. That's good enough. And I also picked up these. Now these were also up near the register. These are fried apples with cinnamon. These things are so good in a pie. Oh my word. Now these are from Sweet Harvest. Not our harvest, because she would definitely not approve of this. The can itself is 14.5 ounces and I got two of these because I kind of wanted to make a pie with them. So I also got a, a pie crust to go with it. Now this was the only kind they had at Aldi. I love Aldi. Their stuff is really cheap. But for some things, you don't have a super big variety of stuff. You may only have one choice. Um, but it's always good and it's inexpensive. I got this pie crust here, graham cracker. Now normally I would use just a regular pie crust, not you know like the flaky crust. But I'm going to try it with a graham cracker crust. And that is from Baker's Corner. This is a 9 inch crust, ready to fill. In this uh, clear plastic here, it's going to double as a lid once you get your pie done. You can flip this over and put it under, you see the foil, the aluminum foil uh, folds over here. And you can just stick it under there and seal it down and it becomes like a top for your pie once you bake it. So when I saw the fried apples, I said, well, let's get two of these and a crust and we'll make an apple pie. For less than $4, I can make a nice pie and that'll be really good. So, But really, these fried apples, they're good. Just heat them up and eat them by themselves. I'm telling you, they're, they're delicious. They're so good. They, they're the, they have the perfect amount of sweetness, the perfect amount of cinnamon. They're wonderful. They are, they are just fabulous. And they don't have them all the time, so when they have them, you got to get them. And another item we have, ooh, look at that, apple cider. Now, this is one thing I enjoy warm, you know, just heat it up a little bit. You have to kind of shake it because it settles to the bottom. Now, this is from Nature's Nectar, which is also an Aldi brand. And they're gonna, you're going to see that name on a lot of the juice products. And they come in jars like this, little, little bottles like this. This is a deliciously flavored apple cider served hot or cold. And it is salted caramel flavored apple cider. Now, I haven't tried this. I've tried similar products from other stores, but I haven't tried all these. This is 64 ounces of salted caramel apple cider. It's from Concentrate with added ingredients. And it's full, like it goes all the way up. They do that with their other juices too. And I also picked up, I picked this up before I found the fried apples. <laughs> this is from Bake Shop, and this is another item that they don't have all the time. Mm -mm -mm. A caramel apple pie. It has this crumbly crust on it with drizzled caramel on it, so it's like an apple pie, or a crumble, it's kind of like a, pr a crumble. It's got that crunchy stuff on top, and then that caramel drizzled all over the crumble. Oh my word. This thing is 24 ounces. This pie, I think, was only $3.99. It, it was four or $5. It was either $3.99 or $4.99. It wasn't much. 
No, I just checked, I checked my receipt. It was only $3.89. So I wasn't even $4 for this pie. And it's beautiful. Wow. I'm really looking forward to that one. But see, we can eat that now, and then I can save the other stuff and make the other pie in a week or so. And here's another item they don't have all the time, but it looks good. This is from Simply Nature, which is an Aldi brand. And you see that on products usually that might be uh, non-GMO, no added preservatives or extra ingredients. They try to keep it as simple as possible, which is why they call it Simply Nature. These are plant-based sweet potato crackers, and they are gluten-free. And they look, they look yummy. It looks like they have some other stuff in them as well. But I like sweet potatoes a whole lot. I really do. Um, but I thought these looked yummy. Now this is a little 6.5 ounce box. But again, I'm thinking that these are very light crackers. So you could probably get quite a few in there for that weight. But they're just kind of plain. I might try it with some apples, little pieces of apple. Or some cheese. Maybe try it with a different couple of kinds of cheese. Let's see what tastes good with them. So that is plant-based sweet potato crackers. Okay. Oh wow. And here's the item that's that gave me the idea for this video. I spotted these up by the register and I said, oh, we have to do a pumpkin spice video with all this stuff. Because I had spotted a few other uh, pumpkin spice items, but this one, I said, oh, we got to do it. Now, these cookies are from Benton's. Again, they are flavored cream cookies with pumpkin spice flavoring. It has other natural flavors as well. You have your cinnamon in there, too. All the pumpkin spices in your little cream cookies. This is a 10.5 ounce box. It's kind of interesting because normally with this kind of little cookie they have them in the packaging like those uh, caramel apple cookies I showed you at the beginning it's kind of interesting that they have them in a box like this because they normally don't do them this way Boy, those cookies have an intricate design look at that it's very fancy Wow it's very cool very elaborate so you get 10.5 ounces of pumpkin spice little cookies here cream flavored little sandwich cookies and these are again from Benton's which is of course like I said that's an Aldi brand and we can't show pumpkin spice without showing pumpkin spice Cheerios these are I these I actually have had and these are really good I eat these just like a snack. I mean, I've mentioned before, I typically eat my cereal dry. I don't like milk in my cereal most of the time. Um, I just, I prefer to not do that. I can't, once it gets the slightest bit soggy, I, it just grosses me out. So, but I love to eat just dry cereal. It's, I'll eat it just as a snack. I don't care. But these are good. You can't get them all the time. And it says here, it is a limited edition. So it's only available at certain times of the year, like fall. This is a 10.8 ounce box of sweetened whole, whole grain oat cereal with the natural pumpkin flavor and cinnamon, nutmeg, and cloves. Very nice. So they have these up by the register as well. It's not with the regular cereal section. And I think they're good. If you like pumpkin spice stuff, you probably would like that. And I found two different types of K-cups. Little single servings of coffee. Now let's see. These are also from Barissimo, which is an Aldi brand that you will see on a lot of their coffee products. This is fair trade certified caramel apple flavored coffee with 100% Arabica beans. You get 18 K-cups in here for a total of 6.03 ounces. These were $4.99 each. It is sweet and fruity, a delicate light roast coffee with the notes of sweet caramel and crisp apple flavor. And it, this box is going to become a dispenser. When you get ready to use it, it's perforated 
down here and up across the top. So you, you, right here's the little place where you punch a hole in it, pull it back, remove this part, and it becomes like a little dispenser for your coffee K-cups. And it tells you how to make it. So it is caramel apple flavored coffee. And that is a limited time offer. They don't have that all the time either. And the last thing I have to show you today is the second flavor of K-Cups. Now these are also from Barissimo, and it's also 18 K-Cups in this little cube. This is fair trade certified caramel macchiato flavored coffee made of 100% Arabica beans. I really love this picture. Isn't it beautiful? I love some of the illustrations and pictures on their products. You have the beautiful coffee beans going around and some pieces of caramel here. And I love this teal color for the caramel macchiato. It almost looks like, you know, the writing on something at a, at a circus, you know, I get a fair, how they have the fancy banners and stuff. Kind of reminds me of that. Very festive looking. Now this coffee is sweet and smooth. This light roast coffee features rich caramel and sweet cream flavors blended to perfection. And this one also becomes a dispenser too. You can take this top off and then you can just reach in and get your K-Cups. 18 in all. 18 K-Cups for $4.99 in a lovely caramel macchiato flavor. It's just perfect for fall. And those chilly mornings that feel so good. It's so nice to step out and the humidity's gone and you can breathe and it's so nice. I love it. So that is also from Barissimo. It is our last item today. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed seeing all these lovely pumpkin spice items and the other items too. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you again soon.